I came to San Francisco in 1969. I wouldn't give up this neighborhood for, uh, for nothing. In this neighborhood, we've lived for approximately maybe 22 20, years. Yeah, like 20, 21, 21, 21 years. 21, 21 years, years in this neighborhood. In the same house. I have lived in San Francisco. Ever since I was two years old, I've been here. But I've lived in Hunter's View for approximately 23 to 24 years now. I am getting ready to approach 20 years as a resident of the city and county of San Francisco. I've lived in this building for seven years. Some of my neighbors that have been here almost 30 years. My apartment burned down a year and a half ago in Nopa. After my fire, the Red Cross gave us a list of agencies in the city to reach out to and find out about uh, various programs that could help us get back on our feet. I was scared at one point I did. I was because you, I didn't know what the outcome of Hollywood was going to be. You know, it was it got to was it going to get to the point where we have to be displaced because they would have to demolish this place. And if they had, we wouldn't have been uh, brought back. We wouldn't have been able to live uh, uh, in Burner. But by the, by, by the RAD program coming along, I welcome it. All of a sudden, the owner came to the house and said, we want to sell the house. And we were like, what? But we were scared at first. What are we going to do? Where are we going to move into? the kids' school, our jobs. From the very beginning, uh, this whole transition of um, public housing into uh, affordable housing was a good idea, but many, many residents didn't think it would ever actually happen. But it's been an, um, a life-changing, life-altering experience. And um, I'm truly grateful for the whole initiative and all those that work on the Hope SF initiative. We were notified via a phone message from my landlord that he was gonna sell the building. When we realized that it was happening, there was moving forward, there was no longer a thought for the landlord, I sort of had a moment of panic. I signed up for the below market rate program, got my certificate and started applying. This particular building was brand new and um, really this is the one that I wanted out of everything I applied for. And I came to the open house here and there were literally hundreds of people looking at the building. And I, in my mind I was like, how am I ever possibly gonna win this? And I did and when you get that, that notice that you won, it's like at first it's surreal and you don't believe it and then it kind of like sinks in, yeah, it finally happened and I'm good to go, I can stay. It took us personally a year to get our credit ready, to get ready for, um, to apply for the loan, you know, for the bank. We went through Meta first, and um, Meta helped us to apply and to be ready to, um, to get the loan through the Down Payment Assistance Loan Program, and that's the program that we use to secure the purchase of our home. I heard about the small sites program through my um, work with the Mission Economic Development Agency. I also had met with other folks from the Mayor's Office of Housing and had talked about this program because they were wanting to maybe utilize that program to buy um, the building at Galeria. Finally, when we realized that MEDA was, did have the financial capacity and resources to buy the building, we went on a letter writing campaign to the landlord and said to him, you know, we understand you want to sell your building. Um, we understand what you're asking for. You're entitled, you know, you're entitled to it. It's, it's what, you know, it's your land, but please work with us. Before the remodeling came along, the condition of these apartments had gotten pretty bad, you know, with uh, mildew, the repairs, you know, I mean, you had to see the apartment for the RAD program come along. You know, you, you wouldn't have believed them, you know, so I appreciate everything they did. My favorite thing about my home, although I miss the charm of the old Victorians, is everything is brand new. 
It's beautiful. My kitchen is amazing. I have, I've really started to enjoy cooking. Um, I love that we have a gym on site. I work out four days a week and it's just beautiful to look out the window at the courtyard that I get to overlook. They've done a wonderful job uh, accommodating the residents who for many years have lived in a dilapidated housing. Now they have quality housing. We have four kids and so to find a place even just to rent for a family of six and two dogs <laughs> is When are we going to actually possible. pay more for rent and to own a house? I moved into this apartment one year ago. My favorite thing is, uh, is my kitchen. It feels good not to have to move, and it feels good for our children to stay in the neighborhood that they've grown in. You know, they grew up here, they were born here, you know, and they know this neighborhood. They don't know anything outside of San Francisco. For me, having my patio where I can start my morning with my cup of coffee um, and slowly kind of assess the weather, it's really a, a sweet spot for me, and I love it. The mayor's office has been um, um, a real a real friend to us, a partner, and we know that our city supports us. I love San Francisco, and um, just to be able to stay in my community and continue to um, help the residents who live here and continue to see my neighbors move into new housing, it's been a real joy. I could not be happier, and I'm super grateful to the mayor's office of housing for having this for us. So we're really happy. We are really happy. We'd, we'd love to say thank you to the Mayor's Office of Housing. Um, they opened a door that we thought was not possible to be opened for us. I was a house painter. I used to go and paint other people's apartment and then come back home to mine and I would say, well, why couldn't I live in a place like, you know, that looked like that, you know? And now I do, yeah.